Hey YouTubers and RV fans, I wanted to give you a little bit of a travel update because I haven't done one in a while. A lot of things have been happening over the course of the last two and a half months that I've been here in Lower Alabama. I've come to terms with a couple of my limitations which I'm not necessarily enamored with. And I've got some plans that I'm hoping I'm going to be able to see through. First of all, I've hinted around a little bit on my Facebook page about wanting to get a fifth wheel and a truck. Um, thanks to Daryl and Kim with RV Adventure TV, they've kind of given me the itch to do that. I think a lot of the reason I want to do that is because I think driving a truck with a fifth wheel is going to be a lot more comfortable for me than driving the um, Class A. And so, you know, when you buy an RV in the beginning, you think it's going to meet your needs, and then when you get on the road, you realize, eh, maybe not so much. So, right now, that's my plan. The other thing is, I'm at the I'm a little bit over the two month mark. The next stage of this whole of this whole life for me is really to begin to map out my travel plans. Um, what I want to do though is I want to get on the road. Um, and I think a lot of the times driving a class A, you end up with a lot of driving fatigue. Mostly that's because you're constantly managing driving the vehicle. You're staying in the lane and you're getting hit up by 18 wheelers on the side with a lot of side wind pressure. So you're constantly saying, you know, attentive not to say that you're not attentive driving a truck but I think you're far more vigilant driving a class A and that creates a lot of driving fatigue for me I think the most I can drive in a day right now being a newbie is probably about four four and a half to five hours and then I'm pretty much ready to call it a day and, and pull over and get some rest and get out from behind the wheel here's the ironic thing I love to travel I love to drive I love to be on the road and what I'm finding with my Class A is that I really don't want to drive it so much. And I don't know if it's because it's too big, which I really don't think that's the issue. I think it's just that it's not as comfortable to drive as perhaps a truck would be uh, towing maybe a fifth wheel. So that's one thing I'm looking at. Um, have an opportunity possibly to go to Nashville, Tennessee. Also have another opportunity to go to South Carolina, which I've talked about in a previous video. Um, so I'm trying to figure out where and what direction I want to go at this point. But anyway, I wanted to give you an update on where I'm at. Um, and in this video, I'm going to get a bath and um, show you a little bit about the beautiful sunset. So it's been a little while since I put a video up, so I hope you enjoy it. And thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Did you do good? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Yes, you do. Let's get a treat. It's a beautiful sunset today here in Lower Alabama. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day in the neighborhood. And uh, I mowed all around the prop, you know, the property, all around my site. It looks really good. The RV park mows, but. Um, You've got to mow your space because all your personal stuff. I just gave Kit a bath and she's nice and clean. She's shedding like crazy, so I need to give her a bath. Anyway, wanted to share a little bit with you and hope you all are having a great day.